Okay, hello, this is Dr. Jaynes, and I uh, just recently got a 360 camera, and I was trying to do some 360 videos, I mounted it on this helmet, and um, I wanted to upload it to YouTube, because I thought they're, they're promoting that, uh, I, I like the effect, I thought it's neat that you can look around in 360 and there's not a lot of media there, and so I figured I'd try to get into that, and so I uploaded my video to YouTube, and it, the, the internet said that it would recognize it automatically, and uh, it didn't. And so I started looking into it a little bit more, and I guess maybe the issue is is that I, uh, I use Caden Live, and um, I guess Caden Live doesn't put the metadata files at the end of the uh, video. So at least that's what some sources on the internet are saying, and, and that you have to go in and put that that data back in there that tell the uh, YouTube that it's actually a 360 video. And so well, we're going to try to look into that and see if we can figure out how to uh, get this to upload as a 360 video, because this is kind of not really what I was looking for. Anyway, so let's take a look at that. Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and I uh, was trying to upload some 360 videos to YouTube, and uh, they were not showing up as 360, they were just showing up as uh, kind of, the video is uh, looking bug-eyed or something, it's just a normal video, and uh, I guess uh, if you use uh, Caden Live, or maybe there's other other ways this can happen, uh, it doesn't, it strips off the metadata, that uh, lets YouTube know that it's a 360 video. So here's uh, Google's website, and they tell you the steps to go through to create the video. And uh, here is uh, step two, the uh, metadata app. Okay, let's try downloading that. And I would put it on Linux, but they don't make it for Linux, so I'm going to have to transport my videos over to some inferior operating system like Windows. And, uh, what the heck? WinZip. Okay. Well, I guess we will put it on Windows. Since I don't have a Mac. Download that and looks like it's going into our download files. So let's click on that and I guess we'll extract all. Okay, we'll extract it into our downloads folder. What the heck? Gotta stick it someplace. And let's see if we can find that. Oh gosh. What the name what was the name of the file? Spatial Media Metadata. So let's do a search on metadata. Metadata. Okay. Okay, so my video video. So this here's our program here. Well it looks like a very minimalistic type of thing. My video is 360. Oh let's see. You can do 360, 3D or uh, spatial audio. Okay, so I'm going to have to get my video up here and see if I can uh, operate on it. So let me try to do that. Okay, I copied my video in two different formats onto a USB drive. And yeah, we'll see if we can plug this in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's our files right there. And we will see if we can, uh, here's our program. Let's see if we can open these up. 
saved it in two different formats. So okay, here's the USB drive. And it looks like it doesn't recognize. I'm not seeing the WebM one. I'm only seeing the MP4, so we'll try loading it up in MP4. Okay. And it says 360 and check metadata. Okay, so we'll save it as this name injected. Okay. And uh, so I guess it didn't recognize a WebM, so it's a good thing I saved it in MP4 format. And I guess we'll try to have to upload it to YouTube and see if this uh, this injecting the data worked. Okay. Okay. So I just got through uploading that video that we modified, and here it is. And it looks like. Um, What's this an ad? Okay, so I just got through uploading that video, and uh, here it is. So it looks like, so I can drag and scroll the screen around. So it is in 360 now. So it looks like injecting the metadata did work, and so uh, now we're all set to go. We can make 360 videos. Anyway, so this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.